The wind sure is making the waves pick up today. I don't see anything for miles. Wow, look at those waves go. Yeah, I don't think any human is foolish enough to come out here today. It's just us. Creatures of the sea. That know how to handle these things. Woo! That was a big one. I love waves. Ah. <sighs> Feels so good to be in the sea. I can't imagine life any other way. Even days like this are awesome. Wait. What's that over there? No way! That is a human! What are they doing out here? They don't look so good. There's no one around to help. I'm gonna die if I don't do something. This goes against everything I know. Humans and mer people are not allowed to mix. Humans can't know we exist, but I've gotta do something. Hang on, dude. I'm coming. Uh, uh, gosh, these waves are powerful. Uh, uh, I'm coming. I'm coming, don't worry. Just hang on. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you, don't worry. It's all gonna be... Oh, crap. You're semi-conscious. Oh, fading fast. Oh, I gotta get you somewhere safe. Here. Okay, come on. You're on my back. I got you. I'm gonna take you somewhere safe where you can recover. It's okay. Uh, don't freak out, don't freak out. It's okay. Just trust me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna keep you safe. You're alright. Everything is gonna be alright. Come on. This way. Whew. Finally. We're here. Okay. I'm gonna set you down on this rock. You can chill here while you recover. Oh, you poor thing. You're completely unconscious now. You probably can't even hear me. It's okay. I, I'm sure you'll be fine. You were probably just overtaken by the storm. What were you doing out there anyway? It's too dangerous for humans like you. Huh. I'll have to ask you when you wake up. Until then, sweet dreams. Oh, good. You're finally awake. You had me a little worried there. It's been a few hours since I rescued you. Oh, what? Don't freak out. It's okay. Don't be alarmed. Yes, I, I, I know. I'm very aware that I'm a mermaid. Yes, I, I know. I know. You haven't seen anyone like me before. You're not supposed to. Humans and mer people don't really mix. You didn't think mermaids were real? Well, I assure you, we're quite real. I mean, after all, you're looking at one. I'm right here in front of you. You thought mermaids were fairy tales? Yeah, no offense, but you humans seem a little one-dimensional sometimes. You think seeing is believing. And then if you don't see something, or hear something, or feel something, it doesn't exist. I have to say that that's quite untrue. And if you humans would learn to open up your eyes a little bit, 
you just might see something interesting. Something you never thought you'd see. Like a mermaid, for example. We're rare, yes, but that doesn't mean we don't exist. I mean, just look at me. I'm right here. I'm a mermaid. Half woman, half fish, everything. The whole nine yards. So, uh, let me ask you something. What exactly were you doing out in the middle of a freak storm like that? Were you trying to get yourself killed because the waves were huge? I've never seen any other human try to swim in them. Oh, you were surfing. You were surfing and you lost your board. Oh, wow. You know, I've seen you humans surf before. It seems kind of fascinating. You get on these interesting looking boards and you just ride the waves as if you were mermaids yourself. It's pretty fascinating. A lot of you are really good at it. So you were surfing and you didn't expect the tides to turn. Yeah, I don't blame you. The ocean can be rather chaotic at times. It's calm and peaceful one minute, and then, in the next minute, it's chaotic and deadly. Only creatures of the sea really know how to master it. Humans are what I would describe as creatures of the land. Yeah, I know, I know, you can go in water. But you primarily live on land. It's not like you built your cities in the middle of the sea, you know? You are land-faring creatures. I mean, creatures that spend most of their time in the water can go on land. But they're primarily sea creatures. It's just how it is, you know? I don't mean anything by it. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just saying. If humans were meant to spend most of their time in the water, they'd have fins. That's what mermaids are to you? Humans that prefer to spend most of their time in the water? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty clever. I like that. I see where you're going. Maybe our ancestors were just like, you know what? I'm done with land. Water sounds so much better. <laughs> I like you. You're kind of funny. You know, I think we'll get along just fine. Ah, <sighs> I love the water in here. You know, caves are mermaids' favorite places to hang out. The water's usually 10 degrees warmer, and it's way more calm. And we can just sit on the rocks and just chill with our tails in the water and try to find interesting objects like seashells and interesting rocks and, I don't know, seaweed? Whatever the sea has to offer. Or sometimes we even find human treasures that wash up into the ocean. You know, some of the best artifacts we mermaids find are in caves. You never know what you're going to find in here. Or places like this. <sighs> you know, you should really come in with me. Once you're well rested enough. The water's fine. Mm, it's nice and warm in here. You want to come in now? Okay. Come on in. It's not too deep. Yeah, there you go. Ah, <sighs> isn't this nice? Yeah, the water's way warmer in here. The cave just keeps it humid, I guess. Come on, swim around with me. Wow, you're a pretty good swimmer.
You think I am too? Well, I mean, I hate to brag, but of course I am. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> That's kind of all we do. That's how we get around. Day in and day out. No legs. Just fins. But you humans, you never cease to amaze me. Like I said, you guys primarily live on land. But when you guys get in the water, some of you, yourself included, are very fine swimmers. You act like you've been doing it since the day you were born. Oh, you learn it pretty young? Well, that makes sense. Just in case something like this happens, you know? I'm glad. I'm glad you guys value the water. The water's all I know. The water's my home. Yes, I can breathe both water and air. Fascinating, huh? Watch. Here. I'm gonna go down and look for something valuable, like a seashell or a human treasure. And I won't need to come up for a really long time. I could stay down there for the rest of my life if I wanted to. But I'll come up in a minute to check on you. You can come down with me if you want, but you're not going to be able to stay down there. Just watch. I don't need to hold my breath at all. Look what I found! Look at this seashell. It's perfect. It's absolutely beautiful. Yep. See, I told you. I was gone for a while. Well, I'm glad you're impressed. Oh, I'm glad you thought I looked beautiful down there. <laughs> this seashell's beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this thing. I'm pretty sure this was left behind by some sort of muscle. Not sure which. There's a lot. Especially in the ocean. Look at the size of this thing. See what I mean? You can find all sorts of things in caves like these. Listen, if we ever meet up again, we'll have to go cave exploring together. Well, naturally you can't stay with me here forever. You're a human. You require human needs and things that the ocean cannot provide. You need a bed to sleep in. You need a place to take a shower. You need a place to do your business. And you need food to eat. We just... The ocean just can't provide you with the things you need. You're a human. I'm a mermaid. It was really nice to meet you, but unfortunately we come from two different worlds. Worlds that were never destined to cross paths until... Well, I saw you out there and I knew you wouldn't have made it. You're a great swimmer, but you were no match for the ocean waves. I had a really fun time with you today. I'm glad you had fun too, but listen, as soon as the waves settle down, which they're already starting to, you're gonna have to swim back to an island with people on it. I can't go with you. You're nice enough, but I can't risk a bunch of humans seeing me and putting my people in danger. It's one of our rules that I just broke that we're not supposed to make contact with humans under any circumstances, but I couldn't just let you drown. 
but I can tell how confident of a swimmer you are. Especially in calm waters. You can make it to an island. And you need to. You need to take care of yourself. Maybe we'll meet again someday, I don't know. But even if we don't, it was really, really fun talking to you and getting to know you and getting to know a lot more about humans in general. It was so fun spending time with you. Thank you for this wonderful experience. <laughs>